Welcome to my classroom. In this video, we are going to talk about the ACT sample problems for ACT math. So we will do two or three sample problems in this video. So let us start with our first question. I'm taking these um, questions from ACT.org. And I would suggest if you are planning to take the ACT, then uh, please visit the website. Uh, there's a lot of information, a lot of practice tests that you can practice and understand it better. Uh, so the first question here is x plus 1 whole squared minus x minus 1 whole squared is 32. So the question says, if the statement given or the equation is true, if the equation is true, find x. So that's pretty much what they're asking here. So they are already assuming that all of this is going to be equal to 32. So what we are going to do here is we can basically use our formulas. And um, the formulas that I'm going to use here is going to be for a plus b whole squared is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. And the other formula for the second part, I'm going to use a minus b whole squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. And you can use Pascal's triangle to actually uh, prove or generate these formulas or just remember these two. All right, so if I apply a plus b whole squared here, and then I'm going to apply my a minus b whole squared here, my expression should look like x squared plus 2x plus 1, b squared is 1, b is 1. Now I should separate them with parentheses because of the minus sign here. This one will be x squared minus 2x plus 1. Just applying the formula right here from here to here equals 32. All right. So now my question should look like x squared plus 2x plus 1. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the negative sign to everybody. Now, after doing that, you can see that there will be some people that will go away because they have different signs. This is plus x squared minus x squared gone. Plus 1 minus 1 gone. I have plus 2x and plus 2x. I can add them. They are amigos or those or friends. Like terms, 2x, 2x, 4x equals 32. Now, we have to solve for x. As the question said, we divide both the sides by 4 and x equals 8. Now there will be choices provided on ACT so you can also go ahead and back solve for all the choices that they give you different numbers as your choices and you can plug them back in into the equation. I think it will take the same time amount of time so that's why I showed you the math in order to solve it but back solving is a strategy you can use here. All right let's do one more question. I'm going to go ahead and clear this and we'll have it ready for our second question that we'll write down. So the question is if x equals negative 3, what is the value of x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. So basically that is what we are trying to calculate. I know what you're thinking right now is um, how cool my handwriting is. You can give me the compliments later. But right now we'll go ahead and solve this question. So basically in this question, students, we are already given the value of x. x is negative 3. I have to plug in negative 3 here. Now they're trying to trick you. You will think that it's negative 3. 
So it's getting squared. So you just have to be careful that you actually square the negative sign also because students will make a mistake and they will actually square it and write, down, write it down as negative 9 thinking that it is negative 3. Because the x is getting squared, we have to square the sign with it. So negative 3 plus 1 in place of x, I plugged in negative 3 here, negative 3 here. Now negative 3 whole squared is 9 minus 1 over negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. And then 9 minus 1 is 8 divided by negative 2, which is negative 4. So even this question can be done by back solving as your trick. Um, Reason being that, you know, you will be given five choices or four choices and you can always go ahead, plug them back into the question and check for answer. So even this problem can be done by back solving, but I just thought, you know, seeing the math and how to do it, um, maybe will help you with other questions as well. So I hope this uh, video was useful for you and um, let me know, uh, type in the comments if there's a specific question you want help with and I'll try to solve it too. Um, if you find a mistake anywhere, please do let me know and I'll try my best to fix it. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.